So let me get this straight. You don't want your woman to talk to men at work. But it's quite okay for you to be in committees filled with women, to have friends that are women, and to talk with all sorts of women. But your own woman can't do it with men? Hmm, sounds like double standards, eh? Yeah, Facebook, so this is a video on double standards, and they exist. A lot of them exist in this country. Some of them are cultural double standards. Some of them are sexist double standards, which a lot of them are. And we need to talk about them because a lot of these double standards, they're creating resentment in their partners, you know? Why is it that one partner gets certain rights, certain freedoms, and I don't? Why does my man find it okay to tell me that I need to lose weight? When his gut been hanging over his belt for the last two years. You know, I mean, we laugh at them, but it's very real. And a lot of times we're ignorant to these double standards, you know. So let's talk about that for a moment. You know, in this country, women are often placed into this box that they have to look a certain way. While every man has their own preferences, you know, it's generally assumed that we want our women to be beautiful in our eyes, whatever that is. And so while you may have a certain size you want your woman to be or to maintain, we also have to understand that if we hold her to that standard, we have to hold ourselves to th that very same standard too. How is it that we can go to Wendy's, right? We order a triple, large fries, large soda. But we come home and we expect our woman to eat a salad, say, baby, oh, you taking up too much rice. Baby, you know you ain't supposed to eat no sweets. But in the same token, you're not really living in that same kind of way that you want her to live. How is it that you can expect her to maintain her body and you're not trying to maintain yours? Double standard. Let's talk about the one I opened up this video with. Friends. You know, a lot of us men, we get very protective. We get very, I don't well, yeah, we get very jealous when we see our women talking to other men. And so, you know, we place these strict uh, rules and regulations on our women. Listen here, I don't want you talking to any men when you're at work. Okay, just cut it out. I don't like the manager work. I don't like what they're dealing with. I know a lot of them. Just stop it. But on the flip side, I am able to talk to women because I understand how this thing goes, whatever that is. I understand what it is to, to separate myself from my relationship. And so I know a lot of these men out there are doing things and that's just not me. Double standard, big man. You can't tell your woman not to talk to men if it's okay for you to talk to women. Now understand here, I'm speaking from a place where boundaries are set, where there's already respect in the relationship, where there's already trust in the relationship, and loyalty has already been built. You can't talk to your spouse in this kind of way and expect them to feel okay with that because they're looking at you doing the very same things that you're telling them that they can't do. I mean, let's flip the script too. A lot of women, you know, they like to bank on this whole thing that, oh, I'm in a relationship and I love you. And so I'm just not that type of person. And so don't even think that when I'm talking to these men that that's going to go anywhere. But see, I know these women, they have ulterior motives. They're just waiting. They're slick. They're sly. It doesn't matter. If you can't talk to the opposite sex in that kind of way that's a bit too friendly, then I can't do it either. I'm sorry. And we got to start calling out each other on these double standards. Now, let's talk about another serious one. Parents. When we get involved with people, we're also going to get involved with that person's parents or that person's family. Yeah, sometimes you don't get along with that person's family. And you may have a little criticism about them. You may say, oh, I don't like the way your mother talks to you about this. I don't like the way your father talks to you about that or the way your family does this. Okay, received. But when I talk about your family now, you want to get upset. You want to get mad. Oh, you don't know my family like that. Oh, you have no rights to talk about my family like that. You know what they've been through. Double standards. Hello. These are the kind of things that creates resentment. Because here I am now. I'm listening to everything you have to say about my family, about my parents. And I keep my mouth quiet. I, I bite my tongue. But when the time comes for me to call out some behavior that I don't agree with, you meet me with all of that hostility. How is that supposed to make me feel? How are we supposed to develop a nurturing relationship where I feel as though I can talk to you truthfully without the judgment? And then we wonder, why is it that these things are, are 
why is why is it that these things are allowed to fester? Why is it that these things turn into into much bigger things than they originally were? Well, it's because they're double standards. And folks, we gotta understand that double standards are going to kill our relationships if we don't become aware of when we're doing them. You know, sometimes it's just being ignorant. Like I know a lot of people, for example, junk new time. When a man is out with his woman and he's passing a group of guys, and those guys call out to his girl. And that woman responds to them aggressively. She says, excuse me, what, you, what did you just say to me? And you are sitting back there like, I can't believe this woman just put me in this predicament now to have to go and defend not only her, but her honor. See, people, we have to start protecting each other's honor. You can't just respond to a situation any old kind of way without considering what does this mean for my partner now? A lot of times men are placed in certain situations where they have to protect that woman. But they know that violence may not be the answer or violence in that particular case is not going to be the best way out. And so they have to walk away. But what's the perception on that now? You know, what do your friends now say about me? What does your family now say about me? We don't think about these things in the moment because we're responding emotionally. And when we respond emotionally, we're not thinking about things clearly. We're not really weighing the pros and the cons of a particular response to this situation. So we got to watch for these double standards, okay? Consider, our, consider your partner whenever you decide to do things, whenever you decide to tell this person what they can and can't do, consider that against your own life. Consider that against the way that you're living. If we can begin to do this and raise our awareness, our relationships can go to the next level. All right? So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like and give it a share so that someone else can get this message too. All right? And I'll take care.